वॉट इज लिफ्ट और लिफ्ट फोर्स वाई डू स्पेरिकल और क्यूबिकल शेप ऑब्जेक्ट नॉट प्रोड्यूस लिफ्ट वाई डज ओनली स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ शेप नोन एज एयर फॉयल प्रोड्यूस लिफ्ट लेट्स अनकवर द इंजीनियरिंग बिहाइंड लिफ्ट दिस साइड बी वैक्सिंग एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मेक इट इजी Suppose a body held in a flow of uniform velocity let the resultant force acting on a body is f the total resultant force can be resolved in two components the one in the direction of motion is known as drag force other perpendicular to the flow known as lift force at the any point on the surface of the body two types of forces are acting one of them is shear stress acting in tangential direction second one is pressure force acting perpendicular to the surface therefore drag force acting in the direction of motion is given by the summation of the component of shear force and pressure force over the entire surface of body mathematically this can be written as first term of drag force is known as friction drag second term of drag force is known as pressure drag we will discuss about the drag force in some other video in this video we are going to totally discuss about the lift force how lift generated in the aerofoil now lift in the body is given by the summation of component of shear and pressure forces acting over the entire surface of the body in the direction perpendicular to the direction of fluid motion mathematically this can be written as hence lift force produces by aerofoil is the effect of both wall shear stress and pressure distribution around airfoil but contribution of wall shear stress due to the viscosity is negligible hence lift produced by the airfoil mostly depends upon the pressure distribution when particle approaches the airfoil and follows the curvature of airfoil in order to follow the curvature there must be higher pressure above the particle and less pressure below the particle higher pressure pushes the particle downward that's why the fluid remains attached to the airfoil this effect is known as coenda effect just above the top surface of airfoil there will be a low pressure region and just below the bottom surface of airfoil there will be a high pressure region far away from the airfoil pressure will be atmospheric this difference of pressure produces lift there is another explanation which can be described by the newton's third law of motion the airfoil directs the flow downward so according to newton's third law air must also apply a force to the wing to same magnitude in opposite direction we cannot explain this lift by the application of bernoulli's equation because bernoulli equation can be always applied along the streamline not across the streamline and also near the airfoil viscous force are appreciable so again we cannot apply bernoulli equation hence lift produced can be explained with the help of newton's third law and coenda effect now we know that increasing camber results in more deflection of fluid and hence lift force increases and also increasing the angle of attack will result in more deflection of fluid again lift increases but there is limit once the angle of attack reaches certain critical value we can observe sudden decrease in lift force this critical value approximately 16 degree to 17 degree after this critical value of angle of attack boundary layer of fluid detaches from the surface hence wake region form due to this drag force increases drastically but lift force decreases suddenly if you guys are interested to know about geometry of airfoil watch this video